Welcome back. Today we'll be making a red velvet cake. And of course I have the oven preheated to 350. I have my recipe off to the side and I'm gonna go over my ingredient because sometimes during the video I might say something else, but I'm gonna go over the ingredients first. We have two and a half cup of um, cake flour. We have one and a half cup of sugar, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon, of, no, a half a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of cocoa powder, one and a half cup of vegetable oil, one cup of buttermilk at room temperature, two large eggs at room temperature, two uh, full ounce of red food coloring, one teaspoon of white distilled vinegar, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So let's get started. In the bowl, I'm gonna sift the cake flour. It's already come pre-sifted, but I'm gonna sift it again with the other ingredients. So in here, I have two and a half cup of the cake flour. I'm gonna add the sugar. the cocoa, the baking soda, and the salt. Okay, got that all mixed up. Now we're gonna do the wet ingredients. And I'm gonna put that in my stand mixer. And for that we have one and a half cup of the vegetable oil. buttermilk, vanilla extract, the distilled vinegar, and the two eggs. and one full ounce of red food coloring. So that's this whole bottle. I'm gonna mix this before I add the dry ingredients. Okay, and I'm going to start adding the dry ingredients to it. Down, scrape down the sides. Thank you. 
Now we're going to add the batter to my two nine inch cake pans. And I'm gonna spray them with some Baker's Joy. And I'm just eyeballing the, try to have them both at the same amount of batter. But you know, you always have one bigger than the other one. <laughs> I'm going to put them in the oven and they're going to be in the oven for 30, 35 minutes, but it all depends on your oven. Then I'm going to take a toothpick and stick in the center and see if it comes out clean. And then I'll be back. Still waiting on the cakes to come out of the oven. Here with the little good news. Now we're coming from Psalms 31, Psalms of David, crying out to the Lord for protection. David knew who his Lord is. So when he was in trouble, he called out. And it's the same thing for us today. We need to cry out to our God. Even if we're not in trouble, we still need to cry out to our God. So I'm gonna read verses one through five, but I'm gonna read it in the Living Translation. Oh Lord, I have come to you for protection. Don't let me be put to shame. Rescue me, for you always do what is right. Bend down and listen to me. Rescue me. Be for me as a great walk of safety, a fortress where my enemies cannot reach me. You are my rock and my fortress. For the honor of your name, lead me out of this peril. Pull me from the trap my enemy set for me, for I find protection in you alone. I entrust my spirit into your hand. Rescue me, Lord, for you are a faithful God. I love him, I love him, I love him. Hi, we're back. I took a toothpick and stick in the center and it came out clean. Did you see them? And I'm gonna take them out of the pan and let them completely cool. Then we'll be back to icing them. Welcome back. In my mixer, I have one stick of unsalted butter. And we're gonna cream that with the eight ounce of cream cheese. And everything is room temperature.
First, I need to plug it up. Then we're gonna add in We're going to add in a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. A half a teaspoon of kitchen bouquet. and a pinch of salt, just a pinch. Mix that up a little bit. Then we're gonna add in two cups of powdered sugar. My oven just sounded for the pecans that I'm toasting in the oven. Okay, we're back. We're going to icing the cake now. I've got the bottom one over here. layer and I'm going to flip this one on top so the bottom is showing so I have a flat surface
Now we're gonna add some toasted pecans to the side and on the top. Some of the whole pecans. I'll do a thumbnail. Red velvet cake with cream cheese frosting. Okay, I'm done with the red velvet cake. I made it for my sister's birthday and she don't like a lot of icing on the I'm gonna call my sister in to taste it with me. Shirley? It's only fair since it's my birthday cake, right? Yes, 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 yes. Red velvet. That's a big piece. Mm, pecan tastes so good roasted. Red velvet cake with cream cheese frosting. Mmm. Mm. So, yeah. you, she can get the first bite since it's her birthday. <laughs> Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. It's so good. Mm. Let me let you get a bite. Mm. The red velvet is so, the cake is so moist. Mm. And you know what I don't taste? Sometimes people put so much red food coloring in it, you could taste the food coloring to me. This, mm -mm. Perfect. Yeah. All right, but I get a hint of that cocoa. Mm -hmm. But it was good and moist. Mm -hmm. A red velvet cake is actually a chocolate cake. Mm, this is good. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Thank you guys again for coming by. The perfect amount of icing. <laughs> and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Mm. 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 Mm.